The following content is sponsored by Dusty Spirit. Welcome back to my Players Always Get Wrong series, which puts a spotlight on the issues with the new player experience that I see firsthand when talking to or watching new players play Warframe. Today, we will be discussing the infested and by extension the corrupted, and why players don't seem to understand one thing for quite a while. Ancients. Throughout the game, players only initially fight the infested by going through the star chart normally and eventually reaching dark sectors, happening across an infested invasion, or do a fissure mission not knowing what the mission really is. Because players are not nudged to go into the codex or even really complete quests in order, players never really understand what the infested are or more importantly, how infested ancients work. Ancient healers, including the ones that are in the void and the ones that spawn through fissure missions, provide a heavy damage reduction to all nearby allies. This is indicated by having these allied units pulse with a white glow to them, but I've only ever seen one player eventually realize this fact and begin to target the healer first. Another option is to equip radiation on their weapons, since status procs are directed towards the healer when hurting linked allies. I've seen countless Excalibur players who know how powerful their Radial Javelin or Exalted Blade are, then watch as they attack these enemies again and again, and just come to the conclusion that they are too difficult for their level. Players do not usually encounter Ancient Disruptors until later on, but allies linked to them, as well as the Ancient's attacks itself, drain energy from the player and deal bonus damage to shields due to them having a bit of magnetic damage. Disruptors also heavily reduce the strength and duration of abilities on them and nearby allies, which is also never explained. Toxic Ancients are self-explanatory for most new players that I have seen, but they never seem to realize that nearby infested also get bonus toxin damage, which goes right through their shields. As for the Corrupted, besides the Ancient Healer never being explained to the players, the Corrupted are still not fully explained even for veterans like me. When players first experience the Corrupted, it's mostly through fissures, and most players don't seem to understand what is even going on, and that the Void is actually corrupting and spawning enemies from Orc and Towers into the maps. The Void is also not explained right away to players, and is only vaguely referenced in later quests. In fact, the quote Neural Century we have been told about since the Void was first introduced has yet to be seen or actually play a part in the game, which seems to conflict a bit with the now revamped fissure missions. Is the Neural Sentry somehow sending units through the Void for whatever reason, lowering the defensive units in the Void Tower just to cause chaos elsewhere? Or is it more likely that a rip appears in an Orkin Tower and enemies just lazily walk in as commanded by the Sentry to investigate? Either way, the way or reason enemies become corrupted, fissure or void, is never explained which often makes players disinterested in the lore about these events and places. As for how to fix this, my suggestion is similar to the suggestion I made for damage types. Encourage players to use their codex, but I do suggest something else as well. The Once Awake quest is intended for players to play right after they complete Vor's Prize, however Hollow the Kubro and other beginner quests often show up first, so Once Awake is often done pretty late in their playthroughs. I suggest making Once Awake the only quest available after Vor's Prize, and after completing it, the Lotus tells you to go to your codex, as information you gathered in the spy mission gave you partial entries on the Ancients in the game, letting players at least view them and read their description. Thanks for watching.